Hi guys, this is Steven, the sales manager from Top Flight Tech. In today's video, I'll be introducing and unboxing one of our most popular products, 4G Solar Power Asset Tracker, TLP1SF. I'll be also demonstrating on how to tighten the screws properly to prevent the water leak issues. This product supports 4G LTE. It is also designed with the waterproof IP67 and solar power features. This product is tremendously useful on traders, caravans, and assets. Now let's unbox the tracker. You can see there's a smaller size of the screw. This is going to be used to tighten the rear back. Now it's the bigger size of the screw. For this one, it's going to be used to stabilize the tracker onto the asset. And you can also see a battery charger set cable and a simple screwdriver. This is the on-hand look of the tracker. On the side, you will see a tag which you can find the IMEN number. At the front, the most obvious part you can see is the solar panel. On the top, the first one is the light sensor and the next two are the GPS and the network indicators. The rest of them are the battery indicators. When the indicators of the GPS and the networks are flashing, it means that they are searching for the signals. And when they are solid on, it means that they have gained the signals. Now let's flip it to the back. You will see there's a light sensor at the back as well. So when someone happens to pull it out from the asset, if you want, if you want to get an alert, you will need to send in a command to e enable it. Now let's move on to the main board. There are two things you need to do on here. To insert the SIM card first and then switch and then turn the switch button to on status. To close the SIM card slot, you will need to use the little strands to pull push it forward and then to ensure it is tight enough. And at the very outside layer, there's a there's a circle that's made of the rubber to prevent the water from getting inside to the main board. The next step is to place the screws at the rear panel. I recommend the way to do it is to do it in a crossway just to ensure it is tight enough. If you want to save some time and improve your efficiency, you can also choose our electrical screwdriver. And when you are using it, please set it to number 6. After we have placed all the screws to the rear panel, please make sure that you double check that all eight screws are all the way in. And one small tip to check if it is tight enough is to see if there is a seam, a small seam on the side. And if there's a small seam on the side, the water might go into the main board, which might cause damages. And at the next video, we are going to test our product in the water to prove our waterproof function. After we have finished all the assembles, we will need to attach the tracker onto the asset. There are simply three ways to do it. The first way is to use the bigger size screws. In this way, you will need to drill four small holes first on the, on the asset, and then stabilize the tracker onto the asset. If you don't do, drill the four holes first, and you and directly stabilize the tracker onto the asset, you might damage the tracker. The second way to do it is to use the magnet if you have them. You will need to first use the screws to stabilize the tracker with the magnets. And please note that in this case, the rear light sensor will not work since it is exposed to the light when you have the magnets on it. 
The third way to do it is to use the polyurethane tape. I would suggest to place the tracker on a flat surface just to keep the water from just keep the tracker from water in rainy days. One last thing I want to mention is that in some cases there will be no enough sunlight due to the season's change. In this case, you will need to adjust the proper balance between the recording frequencies and the solar panel charging frequencies because the solar power panel will not be able to cover the power consumption as it does with full sunlight. In this case, you will need to recharge battery by USB charger. If you like my video, please follow us and subscribe us on YouTube and follow us on LinkedIn. We have a lot more to offer. Thank you.